All right, so Property Bros today is at Belisa, and uh, I'm with Gavin, my listing yep. specialist. And uh, today we're going to show you a ground floor unit that's three bedroom right here at the Pasir Ris area. Now, Gavin, what does um, Belisa mean? Actually, Belisa is like a Swedish word for illuminations. So as you can see, there's a very good lighting and the light flows very well throughout the whole development. Right, right. Yeah. And uh, what we're going to do today is that I'm going to show you the interior space and then Gavin is going to bring you towards the whole facility zone as well as the vicinity as well. All right, Gavin? Right. Okay, so I'll see you later. Okay, see you. All right. Alright, so a little bit of brief facts about Belisa. So this project was launched as an executive condominium and uh, the land actually starts from the year 2011 and uh, it was actually TOP in year 2014. So right now at year 2019, it has reached its MOP of semi-privatization. So that means that it can be put on sale in the resale market. So this project was actually developed by NTUC Choice Homes, a total of 315 units. Although this is a ground floor unit, but actually we are standing on level 2. Level basement is the basement car park for residents, plus level 1 is actually the car park for visitors. So it gives the entire project privacy. So people that are actually walking alongside the road, they cannot look into the development itself. So if you are looking for a 3 bedroom that is facing towards the internal facing, away from um, the road noise, and you want something that overlooks towards the internal zone, there is technically only six stacks of three bedder, one of which is the compact model that is without the utility room. And uh, if you're looking for a stack with the utility room, then this is uh, one of the right one for you. So if you do not need the study room, they will remove another two stacks. And if you're not looking for the dual key, then I will take away one more stack as well. So you're left with either stack 17 or stack 18 for the three bed plus utility model that's facing towards the internal facing. So let's have a look at this 1399 square feet ground floor unit. So comparing this ground floor to the upstairs unit. So upstairs is actually 1033 square feet. The core difference is that the 366 square feet goes to this beautiful patio space. So patio space is great because that allows you to put your dining table right outside but of course, the owners has actually spent quite a fair bit to renovate this space to be this open kitchen concept. This allows you to have like a mini dining area right here. So you can't also use this as like a bar countertop or breakfast table area. And if you want to do like formal dining, you can do it al fresco right outside. But nevertheless, if you want to have a proper dining, this space will be the dining space for you. The owners has made this entire living room into this very, very huge space that your families can hang around right here with this huge lounge sofa. And um, as you can see, they have done this beautiful TV console with wood paneling. If you were to enter from the main door, heading back from your car park area, this will be the area itself. So coming in, you have this entrance foyer and um, this is actually your enclosed kitchen. Kitchen that used to be an enclosable area right here. So what the owners has done is that they have removed that portion so that this gives about interaction with their guests. If you want, you can still put the glass back here so that you can have a glidable glass if you do a lot of heavy cooking. So it comes default with the gas stove oven is already done. We like the fact that the sink is actually separated right on this part itself. So this whole entire area is dedicated for your dish washing plus all your cutlery and stuff. And then this part is for your cooking. So uh, there are a lot of storage spaces, especially at the top portion and over here as well. So coming here, originally this used to be two separate areas so one part is called the linen room technically is the yard area where you, where you can put in your washer come dryer and then you have your storeroom in the sense what our owners has done is that they have combined these two areas and made it into a larger fashion so if you want to reinstate back into two portions it's still doable but actually we think that this is much more functional the key reason is because since you're already using it as a yard area and if you do not have a live-in helper you can use this as your storage area because they have already done up all the necessary storage here and uh, they have kept the door intact so you can still close this door all right or you can still close out the sliding door here at this kitchen towards the yard area zone so you can enclose this entire portion and 
The best thing is that if you do decide to have a stain helper, you can still put in a foldable bed right here because the space, I would say that is very, very generous. And you have four huge ventilation windows here. Coming back to the walkway, this part is linking towards the living room. And then as you head towards your bedrooms, what you will see is that you will see your first common room. So common room is already done up with ceiling fan, with light and um, this room is like a mini study room. The wardrobes are still intact and internal drawers are actually kept in very good condition. So all the three rooms allows you sliding panel, tinted windows to be able to walk through to the outside PES area. And um, if you come to the other room, it's a mirror image. This room is like your dressing room area. It also allows you to walk up to your patio space right outside. So all rooms are fitted with nice ceiling fans and the blinds are already done. So in terms of condition, it's great. You do not have to spend extra money to do it. Common bathrooms, the condition is really, really well kept. Standing shower space is great. You have a nice huge ventilation window right here. All right, and what we like most about the master room is the wardrobe because the wardrobe does not jut up into your master room space with sliding panel doors and um, there's a ventilation window right here. And similarly, you can walk up to your patio space. So the rooms are all fitted with blinds, so the master room is done with vanishing blinds as well. So if you want to have a look at the scenery outside, you can just uh, turn it up. Uh, if not, you can just close it. And the ensuite is fantastic. It does not come with this long bath, but our owners have fitted in and customized their own long bath here. And at the same time, having this nice shower screen and rain shower already done up. Why don't we head outwards and let Gavin show you the rest of the facilities as well as the vicinity. Let's go. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the facilities here at Belisa, right? So over here, we have a spa pool that's right outside your units. We also have the barbecue pits right here, very good size. There's a nice little alfresco dining area as well. From here, you also can see our big lab pool. This is the main pool, very good size as well. Okay, so now we'll walk over to Elias Mall. So closest to Belisa, right, we have two malls, Pasir Ris West Plaza and Elias Mall. Further up, we have Downtown East, White Sands Shopping Mall, as well as the mega complex of IKEA, Courts, Giant as well. So from Belisa, it's just a 12-minute walk to Pasir Ris MRT Station. And there's also a bus stop outside the development that can take you to the interchange. For schools, you also have Parkview Primary School, Elias Park Primary School, as well as your international school, which is Overseas Family School, all less than 800 meters away. So let's go check out Elias Mall. Okay, so just after about a five minutes walk, right, we are here at Elias Mall where you can, you can get your groceries, daily necessities. It's like a little shopping mall here. So let's get back to Belisa. Alright, so you're back. Yep. Yeah, so we hope that you had a good glimpse of Belisa on this fantastic three-bedroom ground floor unit. 1399 square feet facing towards the internal facility zone. And uh, Gavin has shown you the exterior facilities as well. So my name is Melvin Lim. Gavin Chan. Property Brothers, brothers always, always happy, happy to, to show, show you the place. place. Alright, so if you like this home tour, click like, subscribe or leave a comment down below and we'll be happy to show you the place.